and also can give me a simple example of homocysteine levels increasing why is why that is lot of factor the uh, the immune system of the body is in alarmingly uh, toes of condition very very uh, uh, what you can say is over active condition at this point of time why because we are increasing risk factor of this body whenever there is risk the body will increase the immune response so the immune response is always elevated it is called as autoimmune disorder lot of factors which keeps which is rising at this point of time ra factor homocysteine level many other factors are increased because the body wants to protect itself now why the body wants to protect itself there is lot of risk in the body why there is lot of risk if you put diesel in in a petrol vehicle there will be risk for the engine or petrol in a diesel engine there will be risk for the engine your engine will shut down our body is not designed for chemical medicine but we are incessantly putting chemicals or bombarding the body with chemicals from the childhood from a 2 kg baby to lifelong bombardment of the body and at the last stage of the body it gives up but the indicators happen in the young age it starts giving indication now if you do not reduce the risk or increase the tolerance of the body there is no solution lot of medicines have come up and will come up very even more in the coming decade but somewhere humanity is getting into this uh, sense now that all the disease are caused by medicine not elevated by medicine so medicine is a culprit which we are thinking is a good thing so all the levels which are incessantly or unidirectionally increasing in the body it's all an indicator that you are increasing the risk in the body now the first thing that everybody has to do is increase your tolerance because you will not be able to reduce the risk factors in the current socio economic condition so if there will be a viral infection your government will say okay take vaccination the vaccination will prove to be sometimes even fatal because that is again a chemical bombardment in the body immunization has a different role which we used to do 8000 years back in india it it was a different kind of immunization now the immunization uh, scenario has taken a completely different turn so risk factor you will not be able to increase uh, reduce you will not be able to improve your environment in the next 200 300 years if we start now the food that we have deviated genetically modified food process hybrid inorganic that you cannot reduce suddenly so what you can do is improve the tolerance of this body so that with the deviated environment and conditions your body is able to tolerate the torture that is happening with the body so the very urgently it is required that you improve the tolerance of the body the second thing is you in you, you reduce the risk factors in the body you improve the fun, uh, organ function organ strength that is important both of them are only achieved by kumbhak so if somebody is doing kumbhak he will be he or she will be able to ensure that uh, he or she doesn't get into a crash or some kind of a chronic disease that a person will be able to ensure that is why it is very very urgently required